here at Scott's Tyres in Lonsdale with my main man, Kale. Almost put you Scott. I'm down here with Kale Scott at Scott's Tyres. Kale's, did I call you Scott again? Third time lucky, here we go. Down here at Scott's Tyres with Kale, my main alignment man. He's just setting a few things up on the car now. What are you doing, mate? So we're setting up to pretty well neutral everything. Um, we've got the, the traction arms at the moment at standard length. So we're going to see the, the tow curve at standard length and we're going to extend them out a bit and see what the tow curve does after that. So the main reason we're doing this, Kale, is to lessen the amount of tow change. Is that right? The tow curve when squatting, yeah. Yep, so when I'm on power, I want the tow to stay pretty straight. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, we'll come back when we've done some more testing and see how it's going. So at standard length, traction rod, we've just lowered the car down to full squat and we've got a fair bit of toe out and a bit of camber change as well. Toe out and negative camber. Now we'll adjust the traction rod length. We're gonna lengthen it a little bit and see how that changes the angles when it's squatting. So after the alignment was set up with half a degree of positive camber, we've got the car squatting now a full degree negative camber and the toe has barely changed, if any. 0.25 is nothing. It's a squirrel's amount. <laughs> and the car is definitely squatting right down onto the tire. Probably rub at that height. Pretty happy with that, Carl? Looking good. I reckon that's the best we could do. So in conclusion, here are my front alignment settings. A little bit less aggressive caster than last time. Toe, we said as usual, a little bit of toe out. And camber is slightly more aggressive. I wanna see how that affects the wheel when it's turned over itself. And the rear end, we ended up with a pretty good amount of toe change, as in not much toe change and I'll set the rear camber up to positive half a degree just to try and get some better tire wear. And the best we can do is test it out at the track and see where it goes from there. Huge shout out to Kale at Scott's Tires in Lonsdale for spending three and a half hours mucking around with this back end. We'll have to wait and see how it goes at the track, but if this is how it is and this is a good setting to have, we'll, we'll keep it there and try it out next time. Thank you.